Hello, this is Tamir Zain from AlgaeWayForex.com, coming up with your Euro-Dollar analysis for this new week. Nothing much has happened during this past week as the Euro continued bouncing within a clearly converging range. This leaves our main count exactly as it was, but due to the complex corrective nature of the most recent movement, we're changing the alternate count to present a better fit with clearer targets. We're updating our accounts to reflect the most recent price action and to present tighter targets and invalidation points. So let's begin with a bird's eye view on the weekly chart, where the bigger picture sees that the euro is moving towards the downside in cycle wave X, which is forming a double zigzag labeled primary waves W, X, and Y. Primary wave Y is forming a zigzag labeled intermediate waves A, B, and C, where intermediate wave A formed an impulse labeled minor waves 1 through 5, and within it minor wave 3 reached 261.8% the length of minor wave 1, then minor wave 5 extended into another impulse labeled minute waves 1 through 5, reaching exactly 161.8% the length of both minor waves 1 and 3. Then intermediate wave B formed a double zigzag labeled minor waves W, X, and Y, retracing a little less than 38.2% of intermediate wave A, and is most likely complete. This count expects the euro to be moving towards the downside in intermediate wave C, which is most likely forming an impulse labeled minor waves 1 through 5, and this will be confirmed by movement below 1.0462. At 0.9830, primary wave Y would reach 100% the length of primary wave W, then at 0.9536, intermediate wave C would reach 61.8% the length of intermediate wave A. This wave count is invalidated by movement above 1.1718, as minor wave 2 may not move beyond the start of minor wave 1. Now moving over to our main count on the daily chart, which sees that within intermediate wave C, minor wave 1 is complete, and minor wave 2 formed a zigzag labeled minute waves A, B, and C, retracing a bit short of 61.8% of minor wave 1. Now minor wave 3 is forming an impulse labeled minute waves 1 through 5, and within it minute wave 1 is complete. Now minute wave 2 is either complete or it's very near completion. This count expects the euro to continue moving towards the downside in minor wave 3. This will be confirmed by movement below 1.1087. At 1.0829, minor wave 3 would reach 100% the length of minor wave 1, then at 1.0438, it would reach 161.8% of its length. This wave count is invalidated by movement above 1.1460, as minute wave 2 may not move beyond the start of minute wave 1. As for our alternate count, it sees that intermediate wave B is still unfolding as a triple combination labeled minor waves W, X, Y, X, and Z. The pre-final minor wave X formed a triangle labeled minute waves A, B, C, D, and E, retracing almost 61.8% of minor wave Y. This count expects the euro to continue moving towards the upside in minor wave Z to complete intermediate wave B. This will be confirmed by movement above 1.1718. 1 At 1.1736, 1 minor wave Z would reach 61.8% the length of minor wave Y, then at 1.2083 it would reach 100% of its length. This wave count is invalidated by movement below 1.0809 as it's very unlikely for a second X wave within a triple combination to move beyond the start of the Y wave. That's all for our analysis for this week. I wish you profitable trading and see you next time.